Pavlova! Oh, is that it? Are you jealous? Pull it, go on! Now, it does smell a bit funny, by the way. What is up, guys? How is it going? Welcome back to the vlog channel. And Merry Christmas! Christmas has come, it's now gone, and I ended up filming little bits over the Christmas break. But before we get into that, at the end of this video, there's going to be a bit of a life update from me and how I'm kind of feeling with everything, how I'm thinking, and my plans for 2020. But firstly, we had Christmas Eve, which uh, we got given these chocolates, which had lots of different strengths of chili. And of course, I had to give them to James. James, can you come here, please? We've been playing a game downstairs called G Guess the Chocolate. And your job is to get a chocolate and guess it. Dark chocolate. No, no, you have to try it. You have to eat a square. See if you get it right. You gotta eat the whole thing, mate. What? What? It's what? It's what? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? It's spicy. It's not spicy. It's not spicy. It's not that spicy, is it? You didn't even eat it! Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I didn't realise that all of them are actually spicy, so sorry mate. Is it? I already have! My mouth's been burning! So why are you asking me if it's spicy? Because they've all got different spices. Some are more spicy than others. And now it's time for Christmas Day. It's Christmas! It's Christmas! It's Christmas! Santa has been! Look at all these presents Santa's got us! Look, look, don't try and eat me. Yeah, I'll have a coffee, thanks. Cheers. Look at all these presents Santa's got us with our um, very unique tree. It is Christmas Day today. I've just woken up. A little bit different from when I was a kid. It's, uh, it's half nine now. I would normally be up probably about 3 a.m. Uh, on Christmas Day normally. I also just found a photo of James and I on Christmas Day when I was 18 years old. So it was like, f uh, la, 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 la. when was it? Seven years ago. Seven years ago. This is the photo. How crazy is that? James, you look so cute. You look so cute, buddy. You look so cute. But say Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas. He's just woken up. This is the teenage phase. Are you not excited to dabble with some of the presents? Uh, yeah. What? You yeah. are? If, you, if you're not enthusiastic, then Santa's just going to take them away. Yeah, I am. Today, don't worry. We're flexing with the Gucci socks. We're flexing everywhere. Yeah, so nice. I'm just going to walk up to people and be like, do you like my socks? Ah, uh, we started opening presents about 30 minutes ago and James is still trying to open his first one. <laughs> well, it's not my fault you chose the most hard to get into the box. Got a lovely present from James. This candle that I love is it's a pomegranate candle from the White Company. Absolutely love that. Got some Woodford Reserve whiskey. The dogs have got some dog biscuits, but you guys cannot eat any more. And Dad has got a sparkly bottle cooler. Look at that. Dad, you're going to be... <laughs> <laughs> is that your Christmas present? She's like crying, but she loves it also. <laughs> Lulu, is that your Christmas present? Show us! And then Millie thinks she's getting another present. Oh, is that it? Are you jealous? Are you jealous? You think that Millie's getting another present, do you? Now, it does smell a bit funny, by the way. So don't worry about that. When you open it, there's, you know, bath lotion, but there's also some head stuff as well. Head stuff? Yeah, you can always wash your hair. No head lotion. Thank you, Ellie. And Mum and Dad. Thank you. Thank you. What is it? Switch light. <laughs> a switch yeah. light, and then you've got to have this present as well. Water bottles. <laughs> no. Carl, we are waiting a while. Sorry, it was hard to get into. And? A case for it. A travel case for it, so you won't lose yeah. it or break it. Or drop it. Or drop it, hopefully. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. So I do just want to jump in here because I know that some of the comments are going to say that James looks very underwhelmed. He doesn't look enthusiastic. Um, 
James is a bit of a strange one at times because at the moment specifically he's 16 years old he's going through the teenage phase of being grumpy being moody and since he's been a kid he's pretty much been in a lot of my videos online we, we did, we've done stuff together all the time because it's you know it's fun he's my brother and uh, and, and we have a good time together but over the years as he's got older I think his sort of attitude of like oh I want to be cool and I want to you know not show that I'm like massively over enthusiastic so that people don't think I'm this like little kid um, and that's just a natural progression of how he's grown up and hopefully he will mature soon and become an adult um, but he was very very grateful for the gift and he he said to me a million times how thankful he is and I know how thankful he is I think he just finds it hard Firstly, to show emotions, James doesn't really show any emotions whatsoever. And um, I think he finds it sometimes quite awkward when there is a camera filming him, even though we've been doing this for like seven years. Um, but that's just him. And uh, yeah, just wanted to say that before people start saying James doesn't appreciate these things. Here we are. Look at this. The Christmas dinner. Sally has pulled it out of the bag. We've got some food. What's, what's, what's going on in here? Oh, got some green beans. Love that. Brussels sprouts. We have cabbage, red cabbage. And we have some carrots. Where it, where's the turkey? Where's the turkey? Hmm? There's the turkey. Well, the remains of the turkey. Oh my word, is that the stuffing? Is that the stuffing? Oh my word. We've got to say a massive thank you to mum. Everyone in the comments say thank you. Thank you, Sally. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Right, I want to see this turkey. Where's this out? Where's this out? It's in the oven. It's in it. Oh, look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. James, are you excited for this Christmas dinner? It'll be alright. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Uh... I must say as well, I love these miniature uh, crackers. How great is that? What do you think we're gonna? What do you think is gonna be in there? The miniature cracker. Money. Jewelry. Jewelry. I, don't, I think yeah, maybe maybe jewelry. Jewelry. Some jewelry. Some <laughs> is a hat gonna fit in there? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. A hat, a joke, and a toy or something. Look at these potato. Now this is how you cook a potato, guys. Crispy. The crispiest potatoes you'll ever get your hands on. Oh, James has got his meal first. Right. What do you look forward to most when you have a Christmas dinner, James? The potato. What about the turkey? Turkey's not that nice. Really? Okay, but you like the potatoes. Mum does the best. Oh, the best roast potatoes. The best roast potatoes. Oh, I think I'm with you on that one. She does, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, Ian agrees. <laughs> Ian agrees. I've done it worse. See, he's trying to get some more air time, Amy, you know. He's <laughs> Pull it, go on. Oh, I won. I won. What have I won? I've won. Wait, did you win this? No, that's a pepper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What is it? It's a pepper cap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's from the pepper. What have I won? I've got a hat, and I've got. You know, it did get a hat. Got a weird key ring. Is it a weird? James, would you like this key ring? I can't even get. There it is. It's like a mask key ring. Are you sure? Wow, look at that, the pavlova! Damn! Wow! Are you ready? Well that was Christmas Eve and Christmas. Had a lovely time. It was really nice seeing the family, seeing my cousins, seeing my auntie and uncles. And um, yeah, it was just very relaxed. I want to know from you guys though, how was your Christmas? Leave it in the comment section below. So, this is the section of the video where I'm just going to talk. I'm going to talk about how I feel about things, a little bit of a life update, because I feel like I need to. I haven't done one of these videos where I just sit down and talk for forever. Like, forever. I can't even remember the last time I did it. And I think it's important to get my voice and how I feel out there as well. And to also get feedback from you guys, because that is the most important information I can receive from this. So we're just going to rewind and go from like when I started YouTube. I started it in my bedroom as a complete hobby. There was no way of earning an income and it was just fun. You could make whatever you want. There was no pressure of any schedule. You could just do anything and there was a complete freedom. And that freedom then led to meeting amazing people 
that were in the YouTube community, you know, I have such an amazing friendship with Joe and Casper and I will always cherish that friendship and, you know, moving in with those guys pretty much into their, in their house and, uh, you know, doing the videos on a weekly basis and always being in each other's stuff was insane. Traveling, we traveled so much. Uh, we went to all these different countries and we were just constantly filming, constantly churning out content all the time. Obviously with everything in life, things come to an end, which sadly, they did, everyone kind of moved out, they got their own places, and now pretty much everyone in our group has a girlfriend, which is great. I'm so happy that everyone's really happy in the group. It's a shame, and I'm, I think I constantly think back to the times where we used to make videos and do things all the time. And unfortunately now it's not the same. None of us really film together because we've got different strands of content that we want to do, or we've got different aspirations and different goals, more focusing on business stuff. And um, I think that's partially a reason where I, I feel a bit like stuck at the moment with YouTube and I, and I want to be able to change and feel better and re-inspired about things again. Because it used to be so enjoyable and I was so happy when I was filming with friends all the time, to then not doing that at all and just filming on your own, and obviously I film with James, is just very different and it's kind of what I've grown up with doing and, and filming on YouTube has now just like stopped and it feels like I'm very much on my own doing the content that we're doing and that's that. I have very mixed feelings about YouTube, like one minute I absolutely love it, then the next I don't, then I like vlogging, then I like making main channel videos and it's just a complete like up and down of like how I'm getting on with this incredible job. And firstly I want to say I am so, so thankful, I'm blessed to have been able to and still be doing this for nine years on, you know, something that started as a hobby, which I had no intentions of it ever going anything more, to now being in the position where like I am now is just honestly incredible. So I really do mean this. Thank you so much for all the support because um, it's crazy. It really is. It's, it's mad. Like the things that I've been able to do because of your guys' support is just incredible. It really is. So um, thank you so much, honestly, like from the bottom of my heart. It really, really means a lot. With YouTube, you're constantly having to adapt your content to meet the needs of viewers. As time goes on and as change happens, things become old. Like, you know, the videos where we'd sit there, three of us in a line, three of us guys, we'd do like a little challenge 10 minutes, boom, done, that's the video. Now it's very different, you know, it's a lot more about trends, it's a lot more about doing the bigger, better videos, and a niche that I found was the food videos, and that was primarily because of Evie when she when, I, when she was eating Watsits once, and, and she was like, oh, you should make a video of like foods you don't like, and the whole food trend started because of that specific moment, and we've been doing food stuff for a while, and I, and I like it, you know, who doesn't like sitting there eating food? But also, it doesn't make me feel great, because I have for a while been trying to like put my mind and my body and my health in a position that I'm like really, really happy. And unfortunately, I feel like I've let myself go a bit. And I think that's down to when we normally film, we film kind of like three, three videos, three days in a row. And if we're doing food videos and we're going to like 10 different places, I'm eating so much. And it just knocks me out of like that healthy mindset and eating really good food, like working out every day, it completely knocks me out of that. And then I go back to like, great, like now I've eaten 20,000 calories or 10,000 calories and I just feel like a bit of a blob. So for the new year, one of the main things I want to do is really think about my content and really try and maximize the opportunity that I have and be as creative as I possibly can. I do like doing the food videos, but I want to find other things that I can do and other things that you guys like as well. And um, you know, if there is anything in particular that you really like watching or you'd really like to see, like please leave it in the comment section below or tweet me or message me on Instagram. I always massively appreciate all of your feedback that you give me. I just feel like I'm not creatively stretching myself and from when I used to make videos way back in the day, okay, I wasn't stretching myself as much because you know we'd just sort of sit there and do a, a YouTube challenge video. I still feel like I'm kind of doing the same thing. And when I started purely as a hobby, I was learning special effects, I was doing sketches, I was doing, I was just doing loads of random stuff. And I'm not saying I want to do random stuff, but I just want to like see what else I can do and what else there is out there 
for me to get involved with. I've decided that I'm gonna take a month break from January the 11th till February the 11th. I've decided this because a couple of things. I want a month to think about what I really wanna do without the pressure of having to film and upload a video every week. And in that time as well, I'm not gonna be stopping making content. I want to actually vlog a lot more. Vlogging is one of the main things that I really enjoy that I feel that I don't have a pressure to do anything and that I can just pick up the camera, talk to you guys, feel that interaction of me and you back again because I don't feel like that at all when I'm eating every item off a menu. Like, I don't feel that close interaction at all. I feel like I'm just eating and people are watching me. Um, and I wanna just show a bit more of my life, but that being said, I also then have a conflicting situation where I feel that, you know, five, six years ago, you could do do anything online, you know, be this happy-go-lucky person and you'd have loads of people supporting you. And now I feel like YouTube and the internet is a place that really is just a place to criticize. It's to criticize, it's to mock people, it's to put people down. Yes, there are amazing supporters like yourself, so thank you, but, um, it is, it is just, I feel like online space in general is just turning into a bit of a negative place, which is not is not why I wanted to get involved in it at all. So that's another thing. It's like the more private life I then share, the more I then get criticized and judged and, and sort of pointed the finger at. So it's like a bit of a, a bit of a lose-lose scenario. I think I need to manage and juggle that properly and feel like where the sweet spot is. In that month as well, I'm also gonna focus on a lot of other content like my Instagram, TikTok for one. If you're not following me on TikTok, then you definitely should. Um, just because I like those other forms of content and I feel like I don't focus on them because honestly, I, I'm only focusing really on the main channel videos and I know it might seem that, you know, I'm not working hard enough because I'm only doing one video a week, but we do it in stages so that like we'll film really intensely for a whole week and then the next week will be like editing and then the next week will be intensely filming again. I'm very lucky and very fortunate to be able to be my own boss and do that. But I also want time to dedicate to the other social media channels so that I can be a bit more creative and do some other things as well. Aside from the YouTube and the social media platforms, uh, one thing that I don't talk about is other investments and companies that I'm involved with. Um, that was one of my aims over the last couple of years is to work with other companies and, and add my expertise in my marketing skills and what I've learned over the last nine years to improve companies and help them. So about a year ago, I invested in a company called Catalyst and we're a company that provides a service for influencers, celebrities, brands to create something that they want to create. We want to create a brand for them. Um, so it might be that a YouTuber wants to create merchandise, but what we're more interested in is, okay, how can we make that better? How can we add more value to that? We wanna support the influencer, brand or celebrity in every step of the way to make sure that they're so happy with their product and it's to the highest quality. Because I've experienced a lot in the past when I have done merchandise and I have been doing merchandise for eight years. I first started doing logos uh, on t-shirts on Spreadshirt, which is basically a website where you can automatically just put a logo on and they'll, and they'll print it and send it out, which is something I used to do. I always used to like think of logos and like different things that I could create and people would always ask for merchandise. So I first had that experience. I then went to my local print shop and I would get stuff printed. I felt like I was never given the proper advice and I didn't have a team around me that I don't think cared enough to make it the best of what it could be. So that's why I really got involved with Catalyst because I was like, I don't want that to happen to other people. I want them to create something that they really love and it to be them. I also own part of an alcohol jello shot company, which yes, it is quite random, um, but they're friends of mine, good friends of mine, and I always support the people around me. And that business is doing absolutely amazing. It's called Slurp. Um, obviously, uh, if you're not of age, you will not be able to try it or anything, but it's in America at the moment. We are stocked in pretty much everywhere. And I always would go to like parties in LA and people would try and make these jello shots and they were just always awful. They saw a gap in the market to do this. I thought it was really cool. So I decided to get involved. Another company I got involved in is a company called Barley Juice. Um, we are one of the first companies to create a pure 100% mangosteen 
juice from the mangosteen fruit, which is a rare fruit that grows in Indonesia. Um, it was awesome to get involved with those guys. They are the same people that did the slurp alcohol jello shots. Um, and it's really good to be a part of that. I can advise them and help them on anything that they need help with online. And that's doing really well. We're in most stores uh, in America, health stores. And uh, we've, we've received some really good feedback on it so far. So hopefully 2020, it's gonna push it even more. And finally, the most exciting thing uh, is that I'm starting a business with Evie in the new year. Well, we've actually already started it. Um, but with anything, there's always like a lot of planning and a lot of things to get right and make right and get it to like the absolute pristine point before you start talking about it. I always wanna make sure everything's good and it's all sorted before I start blabbering on about it in case there are problems or there are issues on the way and then you know I don't want to let people down. But what we're doing is something that is nothing to do with clothing, nothing to do with merchandise. It's a product, um, it's a health supplement and uh, it's nothing to do with gyms or anything like that, don't worry. I know I'm not the advocate for a gym model. <laughs> um, but uh, it's super exciting. It's something that we've been really passionate about and we've studied intensively for months and months and months and been aware of for years. So it felt like such a natural thing for us to both come together and be involved in. And that's gonna be one of my main focuses for the new year. So that's also where a lot of my time is spent is on these other businesses as well as doing all the content for YouTube. And I wanna get to a point where I'm enjoying everything. I don't want to do something if I don't enjoy it. I want to be happy and have fun with it. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much all the talking I wanted to do. I've been talking for a while. I've been talking for a while. Thank you uh, for listening to me talk. I hope it actually makes sense. Um, but I feel like I needed to get that out there. I needed to get it out there and just talk about it. It's been on my mind so much recently and I just want to get into a position and a headspace where I'm really happy about YouTube and I love what I'm making and I'm really happy and enjoying it. And also James's, because that's another thing. I think that it's hard for him to be excited as a 16 year old teenager when we do similar stuff a lot. Like I want him to be excited with what we're doing and he's expressed that, you know, I've asked him multiple times, like, look, is YouTube for you? Like, do you actually enjoy it? Because if you don't, it's not a problem. We don't we don't have to make videos. But he always expresses how much he loves it and how much he enjoys it. We just need to find something, I think, that we both are really liking and that is fun for us both to do. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for anything, please leave it in the uh, comment section below. I really look forward to reading them. I always look through the comments, whether you believe it or not. I really do, I see everything. And I wish you the most amazing New Year's. Please be careful if you are going out. It's a pretty crazy night of the year. I think it's a very overhyped night of the year, isn't it? It's like, it's very overhyped. Like you've got to have the best New Year ever. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's one night. You know, and then you've got a whole new whole new year to look forward to. And yes, I will see you guys in the new year. Thank you for watching. And hopefully there will be some really cool different content that I'm proud of and that you guys love as well. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye-bye. See ya. Woo!